everyone. Today I've compiled three AMC 8 problems that go over three key concepts to mastering number theory in the AMC 8 and AMC 10. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, today we'll be working on the 2018 AMC 8 problem 21. So how many positive three-digit integers have a remainder of 2 when divided by 6, a remainder of 5 when divided by 9, and a remainder of 7 when divided by 11? Well, let's take a look at the number of the remainder and the number of the factor. So a remainder of 2 when it's divided by 6, 5 when divided by 9, and 7 when divided by 11. Well, one thing we can notice here is all the remainders are exactly 4 less than one of the factors of this three-digit number. So this means we can find a three-digit integer here by taking the LCM of 6, 9, and 11 and subtracting it by 4. Because if we take an example, say for example 18 is a has a remainder of 7 when divided by 11. We can also find this by taking 22 minus 4, which is also 18. So that shows that this method works. So how do we find the least common multiple of 6, 9, and 11? Well, we can take the prime factorization, and 6 is 2 times 3, 9 is 3 squared, and 11 is just 11. So we can take the least common multiply by taking the highest power of each prime. So that'd be 2, 3 squared, and 11. Well, 2 times 3 squared times 11 would be equal to 198. So now we know that it, the question is asking how many of these integers exist. Well, this is the least common multiple of it, but in the question, it says it can be any positive three-digit integer that satisfies. So we can conclude this to be 198 times any number, n minus 4 to get the remainder. And let's see. Well, it must be a three-digit integer, and let's see how many values of n would lead us to get a three-digit integer. Well, we know 1 works, which is 194. We know 2 works, we can find, is 392. We know 3 works is 590. 3 here works, is 590. And 4 is 788. And we know 5 is 986. And we could just tell from here, 986, we cannot go farther because it is going to be a four-digit number. So how many integers do we have here? We have in total five integers. So we would get answer choice E. On a quick side note, this problem utilized modular arithmetic so if you want to learn more, check our Mastering AMC 8 playlist or Mastering AMC 10 playlist. Hi guys, so today we'll be doing AMC 8 2019 problem 13. So our problem is a palindrome is a number that has the same value when read from left to right or from right to left. For example, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 is a palindrome. Let n be the least three-digit integer, which is not a palindrome, but is a sum of three distinct two-digit palindromes. What is the sum of the digits of n? So, the question is asking that what... So, here's a question. Let's highlight the important parts. So, we, we are find, finding a least three-digit integer, which is not a palindrome, but the sum of the three two-digit palindromes. So, here are all the uh, two-digit palindromes. So all of these are the least three-digit palindromes. So we're trying to find, and the so we are trying to find the least three-digit integer. So let's see. We must definitely include the least number 
and then we can add up 44 and 45. You can do trial and error through this, but I do not recommend it as there are many possibilities. So let's see. We have a we must first all we must include 11. So if we include 11, we now have to add on some other integer to make it a to a type of number that's not a palindrome. So we add 88. This would be equal to 99. So, which means if we next if we add 99, then it will be 110. This is the smallest and least one we can get. So the reason I say this is that, for example, we could add 22 and 88, and this can it will still equal 110. No matter what you do, 110 is the least one possible. Cause. For example, we could add try 77, then it will only equal 99. Of course, if after we get 99 from like 44 and 45, 45, I'm sorry, excuse me, 44 and 55, and we get 99. Now, we have to add on one palindrome from all of these. So now we have to exclude these. And then we're trying to find the least one, so we can add up 11. So the answer... Of the sum so our question is what is the sum of the digits of n so the sum of the digits of n is 2 because our answer is 110 in which 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 2 so the answer is a 2 before we get on with the last question this problem used palindromes, which you can learn more about in the Mastering AMC 8 playlist or the Mastering AMC 10 playlist. So the question is, what is the unit digit of 13 to the power of 2012? So let's see first. So, oh, the unit digit of, here is the unit digit of 13. This is when it's to the power of 1. When it's to the power of 2, it's then 9. When it's to the power of 3, it's, it will then turn to 7. And finally, when it's the power of 4, it will in turn into 1. And then the cycle repeats again and again forever. So, basically, if you look, we have when it, it will turn into a 1 at the, at the power, when it's to the power of 4. So, first, let's see. 2012, what is it? 2012 is divisible by 1, 2, and 4. However, we have to look at the last one. We ignore all of this and look at the last one. So 12. So basically, we can do it as usual. As 12, we are just repeating this three times. And when we repeat it three times, we then will end up with this, four. I mean, no, not four. One. One will be the unit digit of 13 to the power of 2012. If you want to learn more about any of these three topics that we covered in this video, check our number theory videos in the AMC 8 and AMC 10 playlists. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. See you in another video.